Hey, Boss Dragon Metals here. Today I'll be pouring some hard drive platter bullion. That is what these are. Now these discs specifically will be melting down. It's a very, very pure form of aluminium coated in platinum. And there's one of the discs separated. They're quite thin. You don't get much, too much material from them. They're extremely shiny. Make for nice coasters. And they sound nice too. So that's what we'll be melting down today. From hard drive to platter, taking the platter out. I've also sewed them upon that. And I'll be pouring them into these ingot molds here. Ooh, the sun just disappeared. And the cloud. Let's have a look at the liquid metal. Okay. Yeah. Doesn't seem to be bright enough at the moment. Well, anyway, it's ready to be poured, definitely. Red hot. Kind of curious to see what these look like. Also be stamping on. Gloves, this. These are not normal gloves. High temperature sort of gloves. too much. Damn it. Screw that one up. It's no good. That's going back in. A lot of material in here, more than I expected. It is aluminium. Get that out, put that back in, melt it down. But it will make very nice bars. In that shall go. Seems to be too much on the edge there. I'll have to put that back in in a few minutes then. Now well, that's the kind that I was looking to pour. Bit of a defect on the top, I think I'll get rid of that with a blowtorch. That one's going to have to be remelted. It's quite windy out here. Not too much more left in there. A little bit left. Ooh, that's quite tough material. I think I'm going to get a pair of clippers, pliers to squeeze that so I can put it back in the crucible. How's that, that? Be back surely. Trying to break this bit off here because it's 
not going in the crucible, I want to remelt it. There you go. And in it goes. That will not take long to melt. Meanwhile, these two, I need a treat. It's a bit ugly on the top. Not bad, right? That'll take a few moments to remelt. Right. Nothing special here, we'll be using butane. I'm actually going to put this one back in as well because I want full ingots. That's ah, only a partial anyway. It's been quite a while since I've poured aluminium ingots. It's quite fun. Should we be doing this much? Missed it. Just going to try and get a little bit more shapely with the blow search, possible. Might not be hot enough though, in which case I'll sand these. I don't believe it's actually going to get hot enough, this uh, butane. It is a hot day. Perfect wind conditions. Ah, it's already solid, I don't want to melt. I'd need mac gas or something for that. It's better suited for preheating the moulds, butane. Or working tin to zinc. Aluminium though has a higher melting point. Which can be quite annoying. Let's dro drop that anyway. Very pretty, very shiny piece. On that side. That side needs a little bit of work. This shouldn't be a problem. Put that over there. Ooh, very, very hot doing this. So that should be ready for pouring. Slower this time. Not bad. Happy with that. Oop, that went completely over the edge. Tip I can't. Be quite tricky pouring metal, as you can see. Especially aluminium that flows in a strange way, and this is extremely pure at that. I can go back in. There is an ingot in there. That one now. That one came out quite nice. These are actually firming to be quite nice ingots. Should stamp nicely. Should quench also nicely. Those blobs have remelted that I uh, just used. So I'll pour it into that new one here. At that angle. Ooh. 
Okay. And that's what's left. Quite a bit of the material there. That's dross or slag, whatever you want to call it. There's unmelted material full of things like impurities or just unmelted material. It's actually extremely shiny on the bottom, so there's not that much foreign material. I could probably get quite a bit more out of that with some borax. I think I will at some point. Or I could use it in alloys of some such. Drop that. Ah, very nice. Extremely shiny. So let's burn this off. Make sure there's no more dross left in there. Yes, there is. Oh, most of them gone now. Not there. Bits of dross or slag. Uh, type of metal byproduct. There's impurities in there. Not dirt, anything that shouldn't melt. Probably a component of the platinum inside of this part, but there's only traces inside here because I didn't actually have it hot enough to melt the platinum. That's my purpose. You need special equipment to melt platinum. Quenching pool. pretty nicely. Having a cup of coffee while I do this. I think like a bit of forging and a cup of coffee. Ooh, these are quite nice. Look at that. So from hard drive to aluminium ingots. Three of them. They should actually stack quite nicely. Indeed they shall. We'll stamp them a bit later with recycle motifs and symbols and probably the weight and give them a little sand on the back also. So that's hard drive bullion, platter bullion. From these out of our hard drive To these lovely ingots. Make quite a nice sound as well. Very pure type of aluminium. And I'll see you in the next metal pouring.